All right. Well, um, we've covered color mixing on a basic level. Um, at the end of the last video, I just got cut off. I was saying that I was a bit worried about doing too much with the oranges because so much information in the image is contained there. I'll bring that slider down. We end up with her in black and white, except for the red. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave that orange for now. I'm a bit scared of it. Might come back to it later. I'm going to collapse that color mixer. Always useful to have the eye, which I can turn off and on to see what it looks like with those color changes and without. It's not a huge change, I grant you, but um, I think it works quite well. So let's have a little look at color grading. This is a pretty new feature in Camera Raw, uh, and it allows you to play around um, really, really creatively with color by adding a tint a set a different shade or different tint to shadows midtones and highlights and this is very much one i like to play with and see where it takes me um, you can quickly end up with something completely crazy but if you rein it in you can also end up with something pretty good so uh, i'm going to start with my shadows and that's the um, bottom left of these three circles and if I start pulling this slider out, the further I slide it out, the redder it's going to get. If I do a little circle round, there we go. I can add all kinds of different tints to the shadows. There's something I'm quite liking around here-ish, but it's far, far, far too heavy. If I pull that circle back to the middle, we've not got anything. Pull it this way, and I'm just starting to get a little bit of it. Same principle with the highlights. Um, so highlights, um, I could make them really, really green, but I'm unlikely to want too much green. So again, I'll pull that down the middle, and there, just with a little bit of it. And then midtones, the same thing. Ooh, I've now got really blue midtones, ridiculously blue. You can see what's going to happen as I go around this slider. It's quite nice in a sort of orangey midtone. But again, pulling that back towards the middle, keeping it subtle, having a play, and seeing where I like this. actually kind of like it about there turn it off turn it on it's a subtle change in many ways but it's just given a little bit more character to my photograph the key thing is to be careful not to push your color grading too hard you've also got some sliders underneath here that change the luminance of those settings um so if i turn the luminance up on my highlights that can actually be quite nice bring it down and we're getting something really quite flat um luminance at shadows might bring that down a bit i'm just messing around with the sliders but trying to keep it relatively subtle and there's something i quite like about where i am at does have a bit of a slight greenish hue but at the same time i kind of like it maybe i shouldn't i don't know maybe i should bring it back to this sort of more warm orange there it is with the warm orange and there it is with my controversial green <laughs> i'm gonna stick to the controversial green so there's always an element of um, creativity to photo editing. And obviously, with creativity, there's always an element of opinion. I'm going to rock with this, though. So that's color grading.